Hello everyone, this is Admin Mocha of Cafe Death Fiction. Today I'm going to be reading a submission that we received last week. It's a huge run-on. There's absolutely no punctuation in this. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this and read it in one breath as Admin Espresso dared me to. But I'm going to give it a shot, so wish me luck. Okay, here goes. <sighs> Name, Seth J. Kaiser. Occupation was once the prince or the Dala Empire Rouge Neko Wizard Gravity Mage. Story. He was born in the Great Dala Empire on planet Tarhile. His father was a great knight and his mother the kind and beautiful Neko Queen. Sadly, one day when Eris was crowned king of Tarhile, he set forth to eradicate the Neko race. Oh man, I already lost a breath. Uh, crap. Trying this one more time. Story. He was born in the Great Dala Empire on planet Tarhile. His father was a great knight and his mother the kind and beautiful Neko Queen. Sadly, one day when Eris was crowned king of Tarhile, he set forth to eradicate the Neko- Oh my god. He was born in the Great Dala Empire on planet Tarhile. His father was a great knight and his mother the kind and beautiful Neko Queen. Sadly, one day when Eris was crowned king of Tarhile, he set forth to eradicate the Neko race. Seth's parents were hung in front of him at the age of five. Lost, he met a priest named Father Corin. Holy crap, he allowed him into the monastery there. He meet a girl of... That's not what it says. He was born in the Great Dala Empire on planet Tarhile. His father was a great knight and his mother the kind and beautiful Neko Queen. Sadly, one day when Eris was crowned king of Tarhile, he set forth to eradicate the Neko race. As parents were hung in front of him at the age of five, he lost his... Oh my god. Who wrote this? He was born in the Great Dala Empire on planet Tarhile. His father was a great knight and his mother the kind and beautiful Neko Queen. Sadly, one day when Eris was crowned king of Tarhile, he set forth to eradicate the Neko race. Seth's parents were hung in front of him at the age of five. Lost, he met a priest named Father Corin. He allowed him into the monastery. There he met a girl of his dreams and his best friend and he grew up there. When he was 29, he had met Eris again in Clock Town. <sighs> Wanting vengeance and to protect the pupil of Clocktown, he fought Eris, resulting in the lose of his arm. Eris granted Seth a cursed marionette arm that boosted his gravity magic to unholy power. Sadly, the arm had a drawback. The arm also had a dark power that would eventually overcome his mind so as not to hurt anyone, and believing he could fight the darkness, he set out and left his dream girl and BFF behind. It's unknown what he did, but when he returned, he had acquired dragon eyes and mastered the six gates of the arm. <sighs> you can use Seth as long as it's not to make fun of him or anything, and polls do give me the credit. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. I I had to take four breaths. Four breaths. Sorry, Espresso. I could not do that challenge. Whoever wrote that must really hate their lungs. Oh, wow. So, I couldn't beat that challenge. I couldn't read that all in one breath. That was too much. I also have quite a bit of caffeine running through my veins right now, which didn't help matters all that much, but I don't think I would have been able to do that anyway. That was pretty terrible. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you enjoyed listening to me struggle through that reading. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are going to be trying to post videos more frequently in the future. So, I'll see you all on Facebook on the Bad Roleplayers page. Catch you later.